Hi guys, Charles on Reactions, and this video I'm going to react to the season 1 finale of Doctor Who. And I just want to jump right into it because I really want to know how the Doctor is going to pull this off. Um, the party with the race, that makes me nervous. I'm hoping you mean party race with the Dalek? Oh! 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 Jesus, I thought the were obliterated for a sec. I didn't know it could like... Benefits like that. Um, I thought it would take us the whole episode to get Rose back. You all right? Yeah. Not bad. Been better. Hey, don't I get a hug? Oh, come here. <laughs> I was talking to him. Oh. <laughs> you can't go out there. You're just gonna. Huh? Is that it? <laughs> Useless. Null point. At least they kind of staying in harmony. How are you so big? Oh, Captain. Oh. This is the Emperor of the Daleks. Oh. You destroyed us, Doctor. So you created an army of Daleks out of the dead. That makes them. Oh, what the fuck? Everything human has been purged. I cultivated pure and blessed what? Dalek. Oh god, even worse. Worship him, worship Hell no! Worship him. They're insane. We're going. You may not leave my presence. You can't decide over that. Can we please leave? I can still hear it in my head. Exterminate! I won the game! Where's my money? Is anyone listening? Where's my money? <laughs> Just worry about your life. They're on their way. The planet will become my temple. Temple? This will be our paradise. Uh, are we really gonna get rid of them all? This big brain's clever as mine. Should take about three days. Oh. How long till the fleet arrive? Wait two minutes. I'll do my best. Me too. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I rose her face. You are worth fighting for. Uh, wow. I wish I'd never met you, Doctor. I was much better off as a coward. That's what kind of man. <laughs> There's an army about to invade this station. He can't die I without every having regained his memories. Don't listen to him! There aren't any Daleks! And if you hear fighting up above, if you hear us dying, then tell me that the Daleks aren't real. Could it also have like a second speech to hype everyone up to go fight? Yay! There's another thing the TARDIS could do. It could take us away. We could leave. Never even occurred to you, did it? Well, I'm just too good. How bad is it? Extremely bad. What? Ross Tyler, you're a genius. We can do the hell. It. If I use the TARDIS to cross my old timeline, yes. What? What? What's up with that look, Doctor? What are you doing? <gasps> are you? S Don't you're sending her away? to die any second with no chance of escape no. and that's okay hope it's a good death but i promise to look after you and that's hope it will be a good it. death the tardis is taking you home and if you want to remember me then you can do one thing have a good life do that for me rose have a fantastic life Down Clifton Parade, and I heard the engines. I thought there's only one thing that makes a noise like that. What is it? The Delta Wave. Is it ever going to be ready? Tell him the truth, Doctor. The Delta Wave must kill every living thing in its path, with no distinction between human and Dalek. <laughs> Does that make you, Doctor? 
you see Jack? You're gonna make that That's decision. That's the decision I've got to make for every living thing. Die as a human or live as a Dalek. The words bad wolf spread across time and space everywhere, drawing me in. I did nothing. What do you mean you did nothing? Do you have some kind of PR manager or something? They're not part of my design. What, are you also being manipulated? Oh, Rose, have something to eat. How can she? 200,000 years in the future. He's dying and there's nothing I can do. 200,000 years? It's way off. But it's not. It's now. Get up. Catch the bus. Go to work. Come back home. Eat chips and go to bed. Is that it? It's what the rest of us do. Well, I can't. Why? Because you're better than no, I didn't That's mean That's not what she that. says. That's not what she says at all. The doctor showed me a better way of living your life. You have the guts to do what's right when everyone else just runs away and I just... How long till the fleet arrives? They accelerated. Oh, no. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, we are at war. Not intimidated at all? You know, a proper life like the kind he's never had. The sort of life that you could have with me. Bad wolf? Even further? Go are we gonna go even further? Okay, thank God. I was scared we would, would go even further away. Oh, maybe, it's a message. maybe they would try to the same words right help. Now, and two hundred thousand years in the future, it's a link between me and the Doctor. Bad Wolf here. Bad Wolf there. <laughs> the Doctor always said the TARDIS was telepathic. This thing is alive. Listen, if we can open it, I can make contact. Can but didn't it tell you to not look at it though? Rose. Didn't he tell you that? If you go back, you're gonna die. That's a risk I've got to take. This is nothing left me here. Oof. Nothing. No. Nothing, nothing? Jeez, Rose. Defenses have gone offline. Daleks have overridden a lot. Mm. Doesn't do anything to them. Oh my god. Oh my god. This car is going to break down. Oh. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> yes! You are the weakest link. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't. No, they do. Yikes. Jesus. Dad won't give up. Well, he's not here, is he? And even if he was, he'd say the same. No, he wouldn't. You're actually um, telling her. Don't be ridiculous. She isn't. Think about it. That was me. You saw me. Stop it. That's how good the dog. Stop it. Just stop it. Australia's just... Gone. This is perfection. This is disgusting. I joined the program because you were on it. Am I supposed to say when this is all over, if we're still alive, maybe we can go for a drink? Yeah, well, tough. <laughs> something bigger, something like that. It is a mom. You've only got this until six o'clock, so get on with it. I hope Rose is going to be in time. Let them, let them have their drinks, please. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes! Continue! <laughs> oh my god! Things were starting to look up, but I we have to... There's nowhere she can hide or go? <gasps> Jesus! Better be good. I kind of figured that. What? <gasps> what the hell? Why would you do that? We're gonna 
gonna turn back time or something, right? I don't know. We're not gonna let everyone be dead. Maybe it's time. Ah, oh, thank God. Whoa! Holy sh! No! Whoa! What? I create myself. You're the bad wolf? Scatter them. In time and space. What the fuck? What the fuck? A message to lead myself here. I want you safe. Yeah, but Why none none of your expense. Protect it from the false god. You cannot hurt me. All things. Everything dies. The time will end. I will not die. You will. How can I let go of this? I bring life. No, oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. This is wrong. You can't control life and death. But I can't. No, you can't. My head. Come here. He's killing me. I think you need a doctor. <laughs> You do remember the kiss. Then why can't we go? Maybe you will. And maybe I will. But not like this. What do you mean not like this? You never know what you're gonna end up with. Get out of the way! What the hell is this? Is it already time for the freaking recasting? No! It means I'm gonna change. An extreme makeover? <laughs> See you again. Before I go, I just wanna tell you you were fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And you know what? So was I. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Mm -hmm. New team. That's weird. So where was I? Oh, that's right. Barcelona. What the fuck, man? What? Oh. I don't even know what to say. I. For fuck's sake. Like, I knew they, that they were not gonna. You know, I knew they're not gonna. They were not gonna keep the same actor. But already? So fast? I'm gonna need a second. So that was the season one finale of Doctor Who. Um, you know, I, I do think it was a very good season one finale. And overall, I did really enjoy season one. But yeah, I, I, I can definitely, you know, I definitely can deny that I'm at the moment quite upset that we already have a new actor for the Doctor. Um, I'm sure that I will get used to him, but I don't know, like... I don't know, I feel pretty stupid because, again, I knew coming in that there would be different actors uh, playing the Doctor, but I don't know. I, I guess I, I'm just a clown. I just really, I guess, made this stupid assumption that it would that it would not happen in the first season already. I think Christopher did such an, an amazing job. Um, and, again, even though I also really like uh, Billy, I believe, her portrayal of, of roads and she does great as well definitely um i do think that the doctor was was what hooked me first you know already the pilot i was like what like i just thought he was so like his his, his enthusiasm his smile was so infectious so i was immediately like okay i'm not sure what the hell is going on and this is very weird and shit but He's loving it. He's having the time of his life. Like, okay, I'm I'm on board. Like, I'm on board with like seeing your adventures. I'm not sure if I will be able to be like woes, but I'm here. Um, and I just really, really 
liked i don't know i would just really, really like this doctor and i know that the characters are the same but just look different but obviously they're not going to be i mean 100 similar right why would they why else would they bother with getting different actors um i don't know like I, again I'm, I'm i'm sure you know chance to hide and i'm gonna like the new actor as well Maybe it will take a little bit longer because I'm pretty sure that I've seen it before in, in, uh, in Jessica Jones. <laughs> if you see that show, you, you might understand why I'm a little bit like... Um, yeah, so I'm... I don't know, I'm still... Like, I'm sad about it, but I'm also a little bit in denial. I, I, f I feel like, even though that I know that I'm, that we do now have this actor, I do feel if I'm gonna, you know, watch the next uh, episode that we're, st that we're still gonna see... Uh, like, I do believe Christopher. Like, ugh. Nah. I, I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss him. I don't know. I really, really liked him. <sighs> well, but yeah. Anyways. Uh, like I said, this finale was very good. I do think it was a very good two-parter as well. It worked quite nicely. And there were, once again, you know, a mix of everything. That's pretty much the show. A whole mix of quite everything. Not just of... Maybe like genres, I guess, a little bit, but especially about, you know, with, with moods and emotions, you know, we're going from funny to like crying to like disturbed. It's everything. I've said this multiple times, but that's, it's a lot in the show. Uh, I'm not sure how they quite manage once again to balance it good enough, because even though at times I do feel a little bit overwhelmed, it never, I never feel too overwhelmed and it never goes so far that I can't enjoy the show anymore. Um, no, definitely not. But yeah, we started off right off, you know, with a surprise. We got Rose back very quickly. And I was, I should have known that things would turn bad really, really fast. Because, okay, you already get Rose. Hmm, that was a little bit too easy. Um, but we have this face-off with the Dal Daleks. Um, and the Doctor, you know, he's still like, Oh, even though that you don't have feelings or emotions, I do know that deep, deep into your DNA is still fear. But the Doctor was, was definitely quite intimidated himself when he was confronted with the Emperor of the Daleks, who saw himself as some sort of god. Like, totally lost his mind um, because of the fact, I guess, that they're, you know, like, almost, the, the Daleks are pretty much like partial human, even though they don't want to, they don't want to admit it, they get angry as fuck whenever you mention that. So, like the Doctor said, I guess they got they were driven mad by their by the stink of humanity what a fate for them um but mm, of course the daleks you know instead of just you know being crazy they wanted to do more they were planning on pretty much you know killing humanity once again and the doctor had this impossible choice either let them kill the humans and you know but well, not just kill the humans but make daleks out of them or take out everyone Including, you know, not just the Daleks, but like everyone, including the people on Earth. Uh, and for a long time, I didn't know that was his, you know, his only choice. Or, you know, uh, he was b busy with the with the brain frying thing. Uh, and he seemed excited, you know, he seemed a little bit stressed out. But then he was like, oh God, oh yeah, Rose, you're like, well, not oh God, but like, oh Rose, you're such a genius. And when he sent the away, was like, oh, okay, we're really fucked. <laughs> like he's literally sending Rose away. He was already like this close to Lily begging her to kind of, for her to beg him to go to a different time period and just chill out. But she didn't, you know. Rose wanted, wants to be with him side by side. She's here 100% for it. She didn't even think about, you know, she didn't even think about, hey, let's just leave them here. Let's just, you know, time run its course and let's just us have our lives. No, she, she's, I don't know, she's, she's, she's really, uh, I might even say hero, you know? Why the hell not? Um, so yeah, that was very hard for him to send Rose away. And I was definitely getting more stressed out about it. And I was also very confused. It's like, we, we, I don't feel, you know, I feel like we're barely into the episode. Rose is now away. What the hell are we doing? Uh, I don't want the doctor to die. <laughs> also, Jack, you know, Jack once again... Um, very, I also really liked his character and I definitely liked his goodbye with both Rose, uh, and the Doctor. Um, 
but yeah, he, you know, was kind of leading the troops, trying to tell them how to had to, you know, fight against the Daleks. Even had that speech, um, and even had his own death. But you know, that we're coming to that later. Uh, but yeah, he sent the doctor. Like I said, he sent Rose away, and that was already hard enough. But we also got this scene with Rose and a hologram of the doctor, and the doctor quite, you know, accurately knew. What Rose was going to say or was going to do. Of course she would protest. Of course she wouldn't want to be sent away. Uh, and yeah. That was definitely a hard scene. But not the hardest. <laughs> but she got to, you know, like I said, sent away. And um, we also get to see, you know, have her, you know, see her have that breakdown. You know, she was reunited with Mickey. And Mickey, like, always wanted to go for pizza. And there with her mom. But yeah, they had this quite intense conversation and I again it was pretty clear from the start that Rose wanted more out of life than the ordinary life she had it's not like what but Mickey was saying in a fit of anger that oh you think you're better than us that's definitely not the case that's definitely not no but if all this time she wanted to have a more exciting life and now she had that life and also um you know, has this amazing person alive, this important person alive, the freaking doctor, it totally makes sense that she can't just return, um, you know, to their regular life and just accept the fact that, hey, I'm here, while at the same time, right now, 200, 100, I don't know, thousand years later, the doctor is about to die in this huge battle. And not just the doctor, but also Jack, all of those people. Um, so it's, it's very hard to see, and Billy did a, a great job with acting again. My god. Why is she so good at crying? <laughs> but I'm very happy that Mickey and Jackie, both, the both of them, came to an understanding, you know, understood understood where Rose was coming from. And, you know, not just that, but wanted to, to help her. And even more because, you know, the reason why Jackie, I guess, gave to that realization, or at least came to help uh, Rose, was because Rose, you know, she told her about how she actually met her dad and not just that but how she was the person being there when he was dying so he wasn't alone and I I don't know I did not think that she would tell that uh, I did not expect that scene but I'm happy we got that scene even though it was definitely again uh, it stuck to my heartstrings um, but you know it led to to Jackie giving a, a, a helping hand making sure that they were getting stronger well not the car but sorry I forgot the word uh, to make sure that, you know, Rose could get to the heart of the TARDIS. And how did she get to that plan? Well, because we had this other reveal that the Bat Wolf wasn't in fact like, oh, the Daleks or something. No, it doesn't even know what, what the hell the Doctor was talking about. The Bat Wolf was a message, you know, was actually like a, a, a good, like not a warning, but like a good message, something helpful. Um, and, you know, as Rose succeeded in exposing the heart of the TARDIS, even looking right into it, <laughs> which was definitely not scary at all. Um, then she finally arrives back to the doctor. We, you know, she tells us that, oh God, is it really a mosquito right now flying around? Can you not? You can suck my blood after the review. Okay. Sorry. Um, she realized that, you know, she was the bad wolf. It was herself. She sent that message across, you know, different times and and places I guess to make sure that she would end up there to save the doctor um, but wow what a powerful moment and the lighting as well Jesus she looked she like the Dalek was constantly like I'm a god blah 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 like she looked godly like the lighting everything the way she talked um, yeah it was it was a moment it was a moment um, but I was, I was really very mixed because at the same time I was like, oh yes, Rose is in time. She can say the doctor, but then see the doctor being totally panicked and be like, what have you done? And you've looked into the time for it. You should have done, done that. I was like, oh, 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 I'm supposed, I, I just wanted to be like, yeah, Rose, like, come save the day. What do you mean, <laughs> doctor? Uh, but yeah, she, she could have died. Her, she could have like burned out or something. Um... And she was giving this whole creepy talk about, you know, that she um, can control life and death. It's the sun and the moon. It, it kept on getting creepier and creepier. 
yeah, I was happy that she's got uh, Jack back to life. I mean, hoping that there are no nasty side effects. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. I was like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? <laughs> so, I was panicking. But then we had that moment where she was saying something about, and I'm very bad at quoting Things Women episode. Something about how she knew like what, what was and what will be. Like, I guess like seeing all those time thingies. I don't know. I'm very bad at quoting. But, but the, the important point is, is that at that moment she saw and knew like how the doctor does and he was definitely touched by that and then they finally had their kiss and i was like ah, we have the kiss but i did not realize at that moment what that meant um i mean yes he did save rose and she unfortunately doesn't have a memory of that but i did not realize that he he would basically die because he took that, he took that over, he took that form, he absorbed that, you know, that she got from looking into the heart of the Tartars, and that's what ended up in him, you know, dying, but he could, you know, um, like he says, like the Time Lords have these things, they have this little trick that they can re regenerate, and you know, it, it looks different then, but it's still him, but with a new look. <laughs> so he did survive, and Rose also survived, and Jack survived. Uh, but they did leave Jack behind. That's one thing, though. Like they did leave Jack behind. What, what, what what's gonna happen with him? Uh, but yeah, we it bring, brings us to the end of this uh, woo episode. <laughs> um, yeah, I do. I do feel like I'm more calm down now that I did my messy recap slash review um I do feel like I'm calmed down a little bit more now uh you know again I'm still like I'm still gonna miss I'm, I'm sorry for not saying his name correctly but I, I'm pretty sure it was Christopher um but I'm really gonna miss him in his portrayal as Doctor Who uh, but I do you know of course I do want to give the new actor a chance as well um you know, this show is so extremely long warning. Like, like how many seasons are there currently? I think like 12. So it, it can't be too bad. <laughs> um, and I know, you know, from Jessica Jones, I know that he is a very, very, very good actor. So who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, I think, yeah. So I'm getting distracted by the mosquito again. Like, can you not please? Like, do I really have to kill you on camera? Where's my mosquito thing? Do I have to kill you on camera again? Oh, I think it's going to hide now. <laughs> I was about to take him out. Um, okay, sorry. So again, I really enjoyed this season. Um, you know, I want to give a special thanks to Erica, my patron who sponsored the first six episodes. Uh, I want to thank you again, Erica. Uh, it's uh, you know I'm very happy that I, you know, got to give the show a chance. And, you know, now it's one of my main shows. And if it's going to stay at least, you know, at least as good as it is now, then I definitely think I'm gonna, you know, I mean, for like a very enjoyable ride. <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my reactions. Um, and I think that's it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye.